he would say something terrible and then crack. Boom. It takes an army of animators to bring us our favorite movies, so it's no surprise that some mistakes happen, and we forgive the animators because it makes it more fun for us, the audience, to comb through and find them. We're sleuthing out the mistakes in Disney's latest animated movies, starting off with the charming Encanto. Number 1. If we remember correctly, Dolores isn't the shapeshifter. During the song We Don't Talk About Bruno, you may recall this little scene of the family dancing around Mirabelle. But did you notice how the woman holding the dead fish dances off screen and suddenly Dolores is in her place? We definitely think this one was a mistake, because the fish woman is the only outsider in this scene, and then just disappears midway through. If it by chance wasn't a mistake, it's at the very least quite an odd artistic choice, don't you think? We say nothing. Number 2. The totally normal box of fun has more magical powers than anybody's letting on. The not-so-special special that Mirabelle is handed has the maracas facing her, which would make for a super awkward way to hold a basket full of thingamabobs. But in the next shot, the basket appears flipped around. Now the maracas are facing away from her. Delivery! I gave you the special. Number 3. Luisa's the strong one, not the teleporting one. The position of Luisa changes in this scene. She's obviously behind Camilo in one shot, and in the next is very much in front. Hey, maybe she's actually that shape-shifting kid in disguise. Wait, no, Camilo is the shape-shifting kid. Sorry, it's hard to keep them all straight. Maybe we need to re-listen to that song. What? Number 4. Babies are escape artists. In Raya and the Last Dragon, we don't remember Noi having the power of super speed, but somehow she managed to get from on top of Tuk Tuk to down beside Tong for when he picks her up, and we seriously doubt she made a sudden decision to jump. We'll forgive the animators, it's definitely a tender moment for Noi and Tong, and we would rather have it than not have it. We bet the animators noticed it and chose not to change it. It probably would have been a huge pain to reanimate Noi on the ground the entire scene leading up to the moment. Noi, it's a name. Number five, there's nothing sadder than your ice cream suddenly disappearing on you. Unless, of course, you'd already dropped it on the ground, then who cares? Maybe a seagull snuck away with it, but there's no remnants of it ever existing, so we're guessing not. Maybe I said it wrong? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Number 6. Do the fish people turn into fish on the insides when they drink water? We're just wondering. This animation concern is more a question of continuity than an animating mistake, per se. How do the characters immediately turn human upon jumping out of the water while still wet? And in other shots, the boys struggle to turn back to being human, and it takes forever for them to dry off. Do we really care? No, not at all because the shots of Luca and Alberto jumping out of the water are fantastic, and the moments of almost being caught are obviously very important for the stakes of the movie and for our laughs. Number 7. Maybe the canvases are imbued with the same magic as Maui's tattoos. The canvas beside the Maui canvas is a three-headed monster in one shot, but once the chief comes in and is tackled by children, it completely changes the next time we see it, and now depicts an island. We don't think our theory behind these canvases is completely impossible. What do you think? Simple mistake? There are no monsters. Number 8. Perhaps its tongue works like window blinders. Those things are a pain. The water monster has Moana almost entirely in his mouth in one shot, and the next, she's still completely out of it. You really can't blame this one on the angle. It's almost like the magic of cinema is what saved her. You're no one, Pharaoh. <laughs> no one. Number 9. If only our hair could be this cooperative for selfies. Grandma Tala's hair was over her right shoulder in one shot, and the very next draped across her back. Number 10. Only Encanto has these, thank you. At the end of the movie, when Miguel finally comes back to the land of the living, Ernesto's tomb is wide open, allowing him to leave. But the doors were closed and locked earlier in the movie. And the guitar is still left in the exact same position, so nobody has been inside since. <gasps> what are you doing with that? <laughs> Number 11. If they'd vanished for more than just a shot, that would really help our heroes along. The security guards disappear in a shot with Mama Imelda and Ernesto de la Cruz. Did you catch that? 
Although this doesn't feel so much like a continuity error, but more the creators just wanting to set up a very distinctive and beautiful shot with the bright colors framing our characters. If the security guards were in the background of the shot, we feel like it would just take away from the final product. What do you think? Number 12. Reindeers are stealthier than people. There's actually a bunch of continuity errors in Frozen 2. We imagine it comes with the territory of sequels. Here's the first of several. Sven, in the matter of a couple seconds, managed to completely sneak out of frame while the gang was chatting. Is nobody watching the reindeer? Do we really trust him to be left to his own devices? That was magic. Did you see that? Of course I saw it. Number 13. How far back did they really get bounced? It didn't seem like more than a couple of feet. Okay, Kristoff just attempted to enter the spooky mist and got nowhere. So they're literally right there at the wall. But when Elsa touches the mist and it disperses, we get this big wide shot of the mist, Anna and Elsa. And suddenly Kristoff is out of frame and has to walk like 20 feet to catch up with them. How does that make sense? We do this together, okay? Number 14. Which side of the sword is more dangerous? Anna is gripping the icicle sword as it faces towards her head, which seems just slightly more dangerous than running with scissors. Perhaps the animator who did the next shot realized this and didn't want her to be impaled and so reversed the sword. Or maybe the logic they used to justify it is that in the matter of seconds, the icicles melted and then refroze on the other side? Would you buy that with us? The movie is playing with the elements, so it's always a possibility. Number 15. To the left, to the left. Anna appears on the wrong side of Elsa in this shot, where the camera sneaks up from behind. Maybe Anna was just playing a game where she tapped on Elsa's shoulder and then snuck around her. We know it, you know it, not a mistake, just a prank, right? Okay, fine. The camera's flipped. The characters are flipped. It's gotta be hard to do some mental math for who goes where. We still hold our fingers up to figure out which way is left, so who are we to judge? Uh, what's happening? That's it. Number 16. It would be weird if the dad was legs and just like an eighth of his stomach, right? It's debatable if this is really a mistake or not, but it is strange. We get a pretty good idea of what the dad's shirt looks like as he's brought back to life. But once he stumbles into the laundry, he comes back out just with glowing pants. Maybe it was some sort of snapback motion? Either way, we didn't see it, so we're calling it a mistake. Hi, dad. Number 17. Markers, like Legos, appear out of nowhere. In this shot, it isn't here. In the next, it is. Remember those Crayola pipsqueak markers with the fun names like small potatoes? We bet it was that kind. They were the funnest. And we bet this one is called the Little Boy Blue. Think about it, it makes total sense. We've got the Little Boy Blue Elf and the Man on the Moon, Distant Father, Father Who's Passed Away. Who's smart? We are. Number 18. Clean up on aisle 2. Disappearing soda isn't exactly as sad as disappearing ice cream, but still sad nonetheless. It's been dropped just outside the doorway in this shot, but once the bikes are knocked over, you can clearly see to the side that the soda is gone. Perhaps another magical creature handled the mess swiftly, but we seriously doubt it. This one's lucky! I know it! Number 19. If not the devil, maybe Barley's got some Spider-Man powers? That's… that's a joke, because Tom Holland voices Ian. Okay, um… sure. Sorry. Bad joke. Should've made a Star-Lord one instead. Barley's on top of the passenger seat, and then suddenly is on Ian's shoulder. Brother. No brother. Brother. No brother. The elf on his shoulder appears as fast as the devils and angels. Perhaps if no Spidey powers were being used, there was a poof we just didn't get to see. Number 20. Maybe Joe's real purpose is to be a magician. The things in Joe Gardner's hands switch around from one shot to the next. Originally, the pizza crust is on the right in one shot, and in the next, the bagel and spool of thread suddenly made their way to the right. Wow, that's uh, great. We're quick to assume all of these moments are mistakes that the animators completely missed. But the truth is, animators only have so much time to finish a shot, and sometimes, perhaps continuity must be sacrificed in order to give us more easter eggs or other special moments. Like, that moment where Maui kicks a rock. That would have been a character choice made by that animator who probably didn't do the shot before it. Like, 7 seconds of animation is something like 168 frames? Imagine painting that many paintings. Of course, we didn't even cover half of the animation mistakes, so help us out. 
What's the wildest continuity error you've ever come across in a Disney movie? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.